Look at this nigga, dog. Oh my god. Boy, boy, boy. Y'all saw that? I say, did y'all see that? Y'all don't understand how frustrating that is, man. When you're playing, and this is my 6-7 guard, by the way. Um, you know, it is what it is. By the way, Mr. Timmy Hardaway, Penny Hardaway. I call him the dime, but that ain't the point. It's not the point of this video, man. Do y'all understand how, how frustrating something like that has to be for the opposite team? That was funny because it was on Man Man Stream. And because, you know, at the end of it all, I mean, it's just a game. But, yo, how triggered would you be if that happened to you as opposed to for you? Like, I know people hit contested shots all the time. But with this game going E-League ready, man, that is no place in the game for that. Like, if you're going to let people hit shots like that, what's the point of IQ? Like, the whole point... In this game where everybody can do everything and, like, you don't have to know how to dribble or keep your head up and dribble or any, any of that stuff like that, in a game like this, the only thing that really separates players is IQ. Like, really, I mean, that's, that's why people always talk about IQ in this game. Anybody can learn to dribble moves. Anybody can learn how to dribble. Anybody can learn the situations uh, that you use a certain dribble move or, or whatever, right? But uh, IQ is the one thing that is going to separate you. When to take a shot, when not to take a shot, when not to um, do that behind the back or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? When not to make that pass, how to draw the defense in, stuff like that. IQ is the only thing that really separates players on a very basic level because I feel like, you know, given enough time, everybody can become a good shooter. I was probably one of the most trash shooters in 2K last year, hands down. I probably was. I was the worst player in the community, ain't no doubt about it. And now I'm probably mid-tier. I don't even got a... I would say mid-tier. My IQ is probably second to none. Um, but that, that comes from me playing real basketball. But if you can get away with having low IQ in this game, what separates anybody anymore? Like last year, if you took a bad shot, whether it was a late closeout, early closeout, anything like that, the shot wasn't going in. And I think partially, uh, most of that was because everybody had lockdown perimeter defender. And and not only that, but everybody had like, if you boosted your, I think your shot contest went up to like 90 something if you boosted your defense all the way up. So everybody could have max defense. I understand why everybody can't have max defense now because that would render the lockdown defenders useless because that's that's really the only thing that they had. L. If everybody could have max defense, then nobody would pick a lockdown defender. If you really wanted to play a lockdown defender, you play something like a glass cleaner or something like that. So I understand why you can't. Everybody can't have max defense, but why why make the defense useless? I don't get it. Like even the lockdown defenders get shot splashed on them after this last patch, man. I don't. I don't. I don't understand it. You're right in people's faces when they're shooting. And like I said, we just say, well, that was a two or something like that. Fall away twos, bad layups, people shooting with no badges and relentless finisher, with no relentless finisher and stuff like that. And they got relentless finisher, just forget about it. I was sitting there laughing at that broke ass player that man man was using earlier today. But really, at the end of it all, the only thing you have in this game is your IQ. If you don't have good, but, but, but what they've done is completely just just destroyed the skill gap because even if you don't have IQ, you can be successful in this game. Like in my court, I used to shoot on Hall of Fame to get myself more ready. There's really no no difference between shooting on Hall of Fame this year and shooting on um, Rookie. The only difference is you might get more whites to fall if you shoot on Rookie. Now, once you turn it on and you go against the computer, there's a big difference. They just make you miss everything. But I just, I just don't understand it. Like, Sharpshooters can already shoot from half court. But to not be able to contest their shot, and it ain't just sharpshooters now. Everybody can shoot. Like I said, my shooting is only a 70 with this guy. Do you see how big this ring is? 
for me to shoot. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the ring is huge on the part. I hardly ever miss. I literally miss more in my court than I miss on the part because the time, I actually, you know, we all know why that is because your timing actually is for the part. We get our timing now for the part, so when you play my career, you just, you miss a lot more shots. It just is what it is, plus the computer fuckery. But we're not talking about that. What we're talking about, and the fact that Mike Wong changes the, the release timing on my shot like every update so that I have to figure it out again in an effort to, to prove that I'm not one of the better shooters in, um, you know, with my sharpshooter at least. Uh, hell, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the better shooters with this guy. I shoot like 60%. Um, I'm not one of the better shooters in this game, but it is what it is. If you, I'm, I'm going to shoot this Paul George, and it doesn't matter how much they change it, I'm going to shoot it because I'm going to shoot it under good conditions. But last night, man, it was one of the one of the things that happened was was crazy. My dude, YSL, takes a shot. He's got like eight badges going for him. He had uh, the wood diamond that KRC uses. He's got deep range dead eye, uh, limitless range, Hall of Fame limitless range, Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Uh, everything, all the bad is going for him. Smokes a wide open jump shot. Dude goes to the bucket, however, and he hits the shot. And there are three people in his face. And we're like, what the heck was that? And he hit it for the game. So the, oh yeah, and he had game point bads going for him. Why I said I got game point. Only bads that that dude could have had going for him really would have been game point. And he hits the shot. It is just, it's, it's demoralizing because it means that you can lose the bombs. You can lose the complete bombs that have no basketball IQ, no have no clue what to do. Don't don't. All they can do is just look at a YouTube video and uh and get some dribble moves. At the beginning of the year, the fallaway jumpers and the contested shots, you weren't getting away with those. Now, man, if you if you step back like this and pull, that's cash. Just about every time. It doesn't matter if the guy's in your face or not. This has to be addressed and fixed before 2K17, I mean 2K18 comes out before 2K17 is over. They've already told us that we're beta testing 2K7, I mean 18 for them right now, and that uh they made they made changes with shooting that uh you know to help them test out 2K18. We already know that. But why can't we change it back? They must I don't understand. Are they gonna let the game be free for the summer? Like uh after the last after the last people are out of school, probably in a week or so, they're gonna make the game free for the summer and then after that, you know, they, they just wanna try to invite more people to, to play the game. They wanna open up different archetypes or whatever. I don't understand it, but heavily contested shots dropping at the rate. Look, heavily contested shots dropping in the game, they do have a place in the game, but dropping at the rate that they are dropping on twos, a heavily contested shot literally seems to, I mean, when you're shooting the two, it literally has, appears to have more of a chance to go in than a wide open shot. Oh, uh, a heavily contested leaner seems like it's gonna go in more than a wide open shot. But, but uh, for threes, at least you get some solace, or we had some, because that shot should not have gone in. I don't care who say what. It, it just doesn't matter. I mean, it is what it is, man. They're gonna do what they wanna do. I don't know if y'all agree. Let me know down below if you do agree. I, I, I'm just rambling on, starting to repeat myself, talking too much. Listen, let open shots go in at a higher rate and let bad shots be punished. The only thing we have in this game is IQ. If IQ doesn't even matter, then why are we playing a game? It can't be competitive if IQ doesn't matter, right? Like, the only thing is you can come up with a scheme to to try to force people to just shoot threes maybe and then contest those. I mean, that's it because contested twos just fall at, it's like an over a 90% rate. Maybe I gotta get kids switch in here and we gotta test it out, man. But even lockdown defenders are getting splashed on. I mean, I haven't played my lockdown defender, but we've been playing this weekend and uh, all my spawn, the lockdown defenders that I have spawned, they play it against us. I'm splashing on them. It's like they're not even there. But it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know. Are contested shots getting really ridiculous? What do y'all think about that shot? And uh, how can we fix it, man? Because this this, this, this is getting pretty bad, man. Anyway, I'm out of here. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Holla! 360 out this mug.